Yo, Pass My Baller here on the fourth game uh, for January 6th game day. This is Miami Heat uh, versus Boston Celtics. Um, a rematch of the Eastern Conference Finals last uh, bubble or last season. Uh, Miami Heat, uh, they're at three wins and three losses right now on the East with, uh, uh, as they are on the number 11 spot. Uh, while the Boston Celtics, um, they have a better record with five wins and three losses and they're sitting at number four. All right, so for tomorrow, this will happen... Um, this will happen at Miami at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's 8.30 o'clock Manila, our time. So, yeah, let's get down to this. Who is going to win and who do we think is going to win and why do we think is so? Um, number one, let's go through the injuries first. Miami Heat, uh, there are two players who are actually listed as day-to-day. Uh, that's Gabe Vincent and Maurice Harkless. Uh, Vincent is listed as probable for this game, while Harkless is listed as questionable against the Celtics. So they have two players who are not feeling that okay. Now for Miami Heat, um, I don't know, that's Miami. So for the Boston Celtics, one moment, all right, here. Well, they have five players, man. This sucks. So they have Langford, who is still out. Walker, who is still out. Um, Javante Green, um, due to some COVID-19 protocols, uh, he would be ruled out for the remainder of the Boston's uh, road trip. Um, so those are for sure. Those three are for sure would not be available. Um, Marcus Mark is listed as questionable for this game. Um, also, Jeff Teague is questionable uh, uh, Smart is due to his thumb injury, while for Teague, it's because of his ankle. Uh, so, obviously, in terms of injuries, um, Miami got um, got an edge because uh, their starting five is actually complete. And for the Celtics, they're missing Smart, they're missing Walker, and they're also uh, possibly going to miss Jeff T. So, my pick on this, my personal pick on this is Miami Heat. I could remember myself uh, putting, a, putting a bet last, uh, last uh, bubble or last season in the entire series uh, for Miami Heat. Um, although I was really scared because uh, we all know how good Boston Celtics is. Uh, but on this one, I still feel like Miami Heat would have uh, the W at the end of the day. Um, and if we would consider... Uh, the spread it's minus 2.5 for Miami and plus 2.5 for Boston so obviously Miami is given the uh, um, the expectation that uh, they would take home the W at the end of the day well number one I think that's because of the injuries uh, Boston Celtics got more injuries number two um, the fact that this will this will be held at Miami's home court so you know they're they're a bit comfortable out there and then uh, for me, um, number three, man, the, the Boston Celtics, they have five wins, I know. And uh, a lot of us may think that, hey, you know what? Boston Celtics is actually having a better, a better season. We might be correct on that. But looking at the wins that Boston had, those are wins that they had basically against weaker teams. Um, they had wins against uh, they had five wins and the only two wins that they had versus a playoff versus playoffs versus playoff teams would be against Milwaukee Bucks and, and Indiana Pacers aside from that uh, those are the wins against Memphis Detroit and Toronto which are basically right now at number 15 number 14 of the East Man, they even lost against Detroit Pistons. I'm talking about, I'm talking about Boston Celtics. They lost to Detroit by three points, and they almost lost again uh, on their second game. So what I'm saying is, Boston Celtics is have is really having some sort of inconsistency. Um, I know they just have a back-to-back -back win, but uh, it's it, really sometimes it's more to it than this than the numbers and then the standing. So um, uh, that's another thing. 
Uh, while for Miami Heat, for me, uh, they've gone through a harder sense of uh, schedule. You know, they went up against Dallas Mavericks, uh, Milwaukee Bucks twice, no New Orleans Pelicans, Orlando Magic was actually doing well. Uh, they also went up against Toronto Raptors, though. Um, so I think Miami Heat just had a uh, a harder schedule, and so they had um, a not so good record. But uh, plus plus the fact that you know Butler was out, but Butler is back. I think uh, Miami Heat would actually hit the outside uh, the outside stride on this game. I think they would have uh, they would have a feast on this, so to speak. Um, I'm, I'm expecting Miami to win on this, minus 2.5. Uh, I would suggest for you to drop money line. Just pick Miami, minus 2.5. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit comfortable that Miami would win this one a bit easy. Uh, a bit easily uh, than the usual. Alright, so again, Miami Heat, minus 2.5. See you on the next videos for the other games for today. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.